Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful but getting cold Atlanta, Georgia. Today is October the 31st, 2021 and on today's video I am going to show you how I keep the Gwinnett Lawns box truck so clean. Right now it is pretty much filthy, as you can see that. I like to uh, maintain a good profile with the customers and part of that is having the equipment looking good. I know some people are going to go, well it doesn't matter, it's the quality of your work. Yes, that is the ultimate judge of your company, the quality of the work, but when you roll up in a clean vehicle, whatever it is, it may be an old pickup like the uh, blue truck right there or it may be who knows, you could be in a 4Runner SUV towing a 5x10 trailer, it doesn't matter. Try to make whatever you have look the best. And by doing that, well, it just gives a better impression. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's just the way people view things these days. So anyway, I try to, I try to do what I'm going to do here every time it gets dirty. It's been really dusty the last, about the last week but it rained and it's pretty nasty now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this clean. I'm gonna show you how I do that. It's no secret, it's just consistency. So let me get the other tripod set up and let you guys see my procedure for cleaning the box truck. All right, so the next thing I do is I rinse off what we've foamed up on the truck because the reason I do that is because hopefully it loosened a lot of the non-bonded contaminants 
and we'll be able to remove a lot of them just from this process. that's done I've got my this is a Griot's microfiber wash mop an extension pole this is great for trucks trailers uh, people that have RVs use them people that own landscaping box trucks use them so I've just got a uh, got a bucket here full of my soapy water and I'm just gonna do like this Now this will not scratch the paint. It's very, uh, very gentle to the paint. It does a great job.
So most people would just be done here. Not a Gwinnett Loans. <clears throat> We're gonna dry the cab. We're not gonna dry the box because I'm getting ready to go get some fuel. So that'll dry it. But I wanna make sure that the surface is nice and slick. In here I have Meguiar's Express Spray Wax. It's what the professional detailers use. And let me put this cab back down. Yes, I do the top of it too. It's very important because you will get a lot of road staining up on the top if you don't if you don't clean it which includes using this now what this will do is it will make the surface nice and slick and will preserve our um, ceramic coating that we have on here Yes, I even do the back of the cab. If it's painted, it gets done. All right, so here is the final result. Nice and clean. I probably try to do this, I don't know, twice a month, every couple of weeks. But if you could feel this paint, it is smooth as glass. But, you know, the truck just, it looks brand new, even though it's uh, 2019, so. Just a reminder, the vehicle is, the truck is for sale. I'll put a link down in the description. I have it on the truck, commercial truck trader, if you're interested in it. If you'd like to get something that has been overly maintained and cared for, this is probably the one you would want to get. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the videos, and I will talk to you on the next one.